Hey y'all, it's Ann from Ann Southern Kitchen. Welcome back to my channel. It's almost Thanksgiving. So I thought about all the Thanksgiving desserts that I've made on my channel and I thought I would put them in one video so you could get some ideas if you are waiting around to the last minute like me to find a dessert to make. And these are all easy. None of them are complicated, all quick and easy and delicious and are some of our favorites. And I just wanted to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving, everything about it. Family, friends, food, everything about it. And I hope y'all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And I'll turn you around and let's get started. I have a stick of butter melted. And I have some brown sugar and cinnamon. And I will stir that up. And I've got my pan in the oven heating up and I'm going to go get my biscuits and we'll be, and we'll get ready to assemble this. I've got my pie filling that I did last night and it's, let's take it out of the refrigerator. I've got my butter here and I've got my cinnamon sugar here and I've got my biscuits pop. Who has an anxiety attack every time they go to open up a, a can of biscuits? I, I, I can sit there and I can just see my eyes just do that when I do it. I, I, it's always scared me. I don't care if I'm ready for it or not. It always scares me. <laughs> so let me know if you're the same way. And these are just some jumbo regular biscuits. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to take my, take my skillet out of the oven. And it said to swirl it around. Let's get this thing in the oven. I mean, how can you go wrong with a biscuit with some cinnamon sugar and some butter and apples? All right, it says to put them in the butter, the melted butter, and make sure it's cooled off before you do that. Let the excess drip off. Coat it in the cinnamon sugar. Get the sides and just line it in the butter coated skillet. Drip it off. I could probably eat it like this. <laughs> just bake them in the oven without any apples. That's a good idea. Might have to try that. The grandkids are going to love this. I mean, who's, who are you kidding? I'm going to love it. Doug's really going to love it. All right, I'll do this last one. And then I'll bring you back when I'm going to put them in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and spoon this apple pie filling over the top. It says try to get as many apples on the top as the, on the biscuits as possible because it slides off, so... And mine's been in the refrigerator, so it's not going to look soupy like it would if you were opening up a can of it. Okay, so I'm going to try and pile it full of this goodness. This was so good last night. I was eating this last night. Just put some in a big bowl and I'm just eating it. Okay. That looks good. I mean really looks good okay so it says to put the remaining butter and brown sugar mixture and i forgot to tell you this was supposed to have nutmeg in it but i don't have any so i'm just going to use the brown sugar and cinnamon and i just made some more because it used up all of mine so i'm gonna Cover it with the cinnamon sugar mixture. I just eyeballed this. I didn't measure it. And now I'm going to add the remaining butter that has cinnamon and sugar in it also. How wonderful does that look? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bake this for 30 to 35 minutes. And hope I can wait that long. And I bet you thought that was it, but no. It's going to get a little bit better. I don't know how it can get a little bit better, but it can. We are going to make an icing. So you, you're just gonna not going to get the biscuits and all that sugar and butter and the cinnamon and the apples, but we're going to get a glaze. And this glaze calls for powdered sugar, 
and half and half and butter. I know I love butter, but I think that's a little bit too much butter. I've got plenty of butter in there. So all I'm gonna do is just make a simple glaze with some powdered sugar and some half and half. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. It says three to four tablespoons, so I guess I could do that. But if, on my channel, we're, we're not into all those dishes. <laughs> I don't like to wash a whole lot of dishes. If I can get out of it, I'm good. But if I can use the ones that go in the dishwasher, that's even better. Okay, I'm just gonna mix this glaze up and we've got one minute and 54 seconds and yes, I'm counting down. So I'm gonna just go ahead and let this sit right here and we'll get them out in just a minute. It's time y'all, it's time. All right, let's turn this off and let's go look. Okay, cancel. <laughs> right, oh my goodness. Well, you seen that, I don't know if you can see that, but mine dripped down, but I don't care. I'll clean it up later. I'm gonna get this thing out of the oven. Hopefully without making a mess, but oh my gosh, look at this guys. Look at that. <laughs> wow. This thing is beautiful. And I got some bad news. It says that I have to wait and let this cool for 10 minutes before I can even put the icing on. So we'll come back in 10 long minutes. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just can't contain myself. Got to get every single drop. I am going to use the bowl that I made that glaze in. So let's just dig in. Can't wait any longer. Oh my gosh, look at that. gonna get a whole biscuit and I am not even ashamed. I mean, look at that. Mm. Pour some of that over here. I mean, I just can't. Okay. Definitely, definitely, definitely make this. This is amazing. Totally easy, quick, and delicious, and it's so beautiful. You'll impress all your friends. I hope I impressed you today. <laughs> no, this is so easy and so delicious. So, hope you make this, and if you make it, let me know down below how you liked it. The recipe, I'm having the recipe, so I'm only using two potatoes, and it said to prick it with a fork, I just pricked it with a knife. So I'm gonna put this in a 375 degree oven for 30 to 45 minutes. Just depends on how big your potatoes are, so we'll take them out when they're ready. Okay, they're out of the oven, and I've cut them in half just to let them cool a bit. And then I'm gonna put them in the bowl and mash them up. Still hot, so I'm gonna try not to burn myself. But I think when they come out, when they're warm, is the best time to get the peels off. And if they don't come off really easy, you probably need to cook them a little bit longer. So I'm just gonna use my potato masher. I'm only, I'm going to half this recipe just because there's just two of us and I don't want to be left alone with a whole pan of this. So that's why I'm only going to make half because it's so good. I could probably eat this all by myself. So, Okay, it calls for a cup of milk and I'm only using a half a cup of milk. A 
calls for a cup of sugar, so I'm only using a half a cup of sugar. I'm gonna use the recipe calls for two eggs. I'm only gonna call, I'm only gonna use one. I'm using a half a teaspoon of vanilla since it calls for a teaspoon and a half teaspoon of salt. And it says to stir this, but not to make it smooth. So I guess you're supposed to leave it a little bit chunky. Hope it doesn't cook the egg because it's pretty warm. All right. Okay, now it says just to butter the baking dish. I'm gonna use my fancy La Crusade <laughs> pan because it's the only thing I could find right now. Okay, it's buttered. Then it says to pour in the taters. Um, might be a little small, but that's okay. Either just cook faster, we can eat it faster. Okay, that looks good. Set this to the side and make the topping. Okay, we've got a half a cup of brown sugar and a fourth of a cup of flour. And it's said to cut up six tablespoons of butter. Okay, I've added it in as good as it's gonna get. I need to put pastry cutter down on my list of gadgets to buy. I added my pecans and I forgot to have the recipe on those, but that is not gonna hurt my feelings one bit. So I'm just gonna combine the butter that was cut in with the flour and the nuts and I'm gonna put it on top. Does that not look good? Mm, 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 mm. I'm just gonna dump it all in there and use my hands. Okay, I'm gonna bake this in the oven for 30 minutes. I'm excited. Just came out of the oven. Smells so good. Mm -hmm. I know it's gonna be hot, but I'm gonna dig in. Okay, let's try it. I know it's gonna be hot. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's good. And it's not really sweet but I like it that way. Mm. Mm -hmm. If you like sweet potatoes, even if you maybe not like sweet potatoes, you'll probably like this. Definitely recommend five stars. And this one should be pretty simple. It's only got these ingredients. This is a cake mix. I've got a spice cake, cake mix, but it called for a butter pecan, but I had this one for another recipe, so I'm just going to use this one. It uses two honey crisp apples and some butter. So I'm going to peel the apples and we'll get started on this recipe. All right, so we are going to add the cake mix now. You only need a half a bag of the cake mix. And I hope this works out because if it does work out and it's really good, then I am definitely going to double the recipe. There's just two of us, so I'm hoping this works out. But if you want to double the recipe, you can. I'll let you know if it's <laughs> if it's any good. But I'm just going to sprinkle this. It's kind of like a dump cake. And I might even add some pecans if I have some. So we'll see. Okay, I put some pecans on the top, and I, sp I forgot to tell you, I sprayed the bottom. It didn't tell me to do that, but I did that anyway. And I've seen a lot of crock pot videos with desserts that they put a towel over it to catch the steam, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to lay this kitchen towel right here. You know, when you open it up, you usually get all that water. So, I am going to try this, and let's see if it works. So, I'm going to plug it in. Okay, I put this on an hour and a half, so hopefully an hour and a half it will be done. It can go up to two hours on high, so I'll, I'll be back in an hour and a half and we'll check it. Okay, it has been an hour and a half. So I'm gonna take off the lid. 
smells wonderful. Oh my goodness. And it's done. If it's good, this is going to be the easiest dessert ever. So I'm going to check it and let's get a bowl and dig in. I'm telling you, this smells so good. I wish I had some vanilla ice cream. I have ice cream in there, but not vanilla. But look at that. This looks amazing. And in two hours, I mean an hour and a half, and you get this. And it's not sticking on the pot. Oh my goodness, look at those apples right there. Mm -mm. All right, let's taste. I can't wait to try it again with different fruits. This one is amazing. Okay, y'all, this is a really simple recipe. And there's my icing. I got some cream cheese whipped icing I'm going to put on there after it's done. It calls for a 15 ounce can of pumpkin, just, just pumpkin, not the pumpkin pie mix filling. I mean, uh, it calls for a cup of vegetable oil. I've got four eggs back there. And right here, I have got a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of baking powder, two tablespoons two teaspoons of cinnamon and I'm gonna put that into the flour it says to sift the flour I've already sifted the flour this is the only thing I've got that I can find I think my other one's dirty so I'm gonna go ahead I, it's two cups of flour in there all-purpose flour and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on the top and then I'll sift that in a few minutes and it also calls for a cup and two thirds of sugar. Okay, so that's sifted into the flour and I'm gonna leave that there and I'm gonna start on my wet ingredients. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my eggs. I've already got the sugar in there. I'm gonna go ahead and add my one cup of vegetable oil and I'm gonna go ahead and add the pumpkin. You can combine it you can stir it or mix it up with a mixer until it's combined. And I'm just going to go ahead and use my spoon. Okay, I'm going to pour the dry into the wet. And I'm going to mix it until it's combined. Okay, it says to put it in a jelly roll pan. This is the only pan I have. I hope it works. It's a sheet pan. And it said an ungreased pan. I'm sure if it sticks, you won't be seeing this video. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna spread it out as evenly as I can. And I've got my pan, I've got my oven heated to 350 degrees. I'm gonna put this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes and we'll frost it when it cools off. It smells really good, so I'm gonna let it cool off and then I'm gonna frost it. All right, I am gonna try an attempt to frost this is cooled off. So I've got my whipped cream cheese icing. I hope this is not a fail because I am a bad icer. It seems like it always sticks to the cake. So I'm gonna try it. I'm just gonna put a couple blobs in the middle and start spreading it out. And hopefully this won't turn out bad. <laughs> My little buddy's over there asking for a cracker, so I might have to stop and get him a cracker because I had to put him in the high chair to keep him occupied. And I don't like a whole lot of icing. I like it to be just a thin layer, and it looks like this is just going to make a thin layer, and I'm all for that. It's already almost gone. I might not even be able to, to get it all over the thing. ahead and throw some pecans on here to make it look a little prettier because it's not the most attractive but I bet it'll be delicious because it's got cream cheese icing on it so that's all you need to make anything taste good it's a little sweet okay I'll give you a cracker 
It's a little bit sweet, so I thought also the nuts would kind of take away some of that sweetness. And the recipe that I'm going to link below, it does have the recipe for the icing, but I just took the easy route because I'm just now getting over this sickness and uh, ain't nobody got time to make icing. How good does that look? Looks delicious to me. Let's cut it and eat. All right, let's cut into this thing. I think right here. I love an end piece. Do you like a middle piece or an end piece? I like an end piece. So I'm going to get this one right over here. Get <laughs> that looks really, really good. I can't wait to try it. All right, y'all, look at that. So good, looks so good. Try this. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a no-bake dessert and it's really good and I make it for every Thanksgiving. So it's a million dollar pie and it has pecans in it, sweetened condensed milk, Cool Whip. I was supposed to get some shredded pineapple but I got the ring, so I just cut this up. And then I'm going I've got the pecans already chopped up, ready to go on the top. And I've greased this pan. I have some graham crackers here that I crushed up. I do not like the graham cracker crust that you buy already made. I just don't like them at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the crust. I'm going to put some melted butter. in the crust and some people put sugar in it I think the pie is has enough sugar in it so I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go ahead and mix the butter in with the graham crackers and then I'll put it in the pie okay first thing I'm gonna do is put in the whole container of Cool Whip this will make two pies you can also put it in a nine by 13 and just combine them both together. And this mixture doesn't even have to go in a pie. I could just eat it with a spoon. It's so good. Okay, after that's mixed up, we're just gonna add the pineapple. And if you're gonna add the whole can instead of having to cut it up like me, just make sure you drain it. But just like I said, I'll have the complete recipe down below so you don't have to go by my mistakes. And I'm just going to put in a couple drops of lemon juice. I make this all the time, so I, I don't even measure it anymore. I just kind of wing it. Okay, that's it. Let's put it in the pie pan. I mix the graham crackers with the butter. So now I'm just going to put it in the pie pan. And I'm only going to do half since I'm only making one pie for right now. Make sure I get all that pineapple in there. I put my chopped pecans on there now. Now pecans are really a fall treat for me. I know that every time that Thanksgiving and Christmas is coming up, I'm going to stock up on pecans or pecans <laughs> if you want to call them pecans but I got that huge bag from Sam's Club because I knew I was gonna use a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these on. Get them evenly coated on here. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. I'm gonna cover it with some plastic wrap and we're gonna let it sit for a couple of hours and then we can eat it. Oh yeah. There is my million dollar pie. I hope you try this recipe. It is my all time favorite fall Thanksgiving dessert. I made these cute little cupcakes. Look, can you see them? 
These are just adorable. And I can't believe they look this good coming from me, but. <laughs> and a couple of them even have a little feet. And I just used brownie mix. I, you can use chocolate cake mix, but I just used a brownie mix. And I'll show you how to make them, but they're just cute. I just can't help it. Very kid friendly and they will go great on your Thanksgiving table. So I'll turn you around and show you how I made them. Okay, so my cupcake or my brownie is now flat. And I'm gonna put some icing over the top. So what I thought I would come up with was using these melting chocolates, the wafers, because it kind of looks like a face. They used the icing and I tried that and that didn't work. So, and then I tried just putting a little dot of frosting, but it doesn't really work. So what I did the last couple times is I just put some of the frosting there over that. You don't have to do this but it kind of makes it look a little bit better. Let me show you here. Okay. And it just kind of blends in with the icing. So it really, you can't even really tell it's there. I take, put one here. Make sure you don't get the icing on there because that's what happened with the other one and, and it looks kind of funny. Okay. Put the other one here. Make sure you have room in the middle for your M&M and just stick that right there. The icing will keep it from moving and I'm just going to stick, just push the candy corn down into the icing and the cake. My alarm's going off. <laughs> so just put like five in each and look how cute that is I didn't think I had some sprinkles but I did so I'm gonna try this one this is gonna be another different way that you can make it and uh, the kind of the sprinkles I guess kind of make it look like it has feathers now, I am not a sprinkles person. Are you a sprinkles person or are you not a sprinkles person? All right. So, I've iced the cake or the, the brownie. And I'm going to pour some sprinkles on my plate. And I'm just going to work my little brownie cupcake around until I get all the sprinkles on the top. Looks cute though. I think I like it with the sprinkles. I won't eat it, but somebody will. <laughs> and you can adjust the eyes sometimes. <laughs> when you have the eyes going different ways, it kind of makes it look funny. But let's see. do we want to put it this way? Let's give it a candy corn nose instead. I don't know which way should it go, that way or this way. I think it's this way. And now it looks different. So we'll go ahead and put our feathers back here. Okay, now look how cute that is. That is adorable. I hope y'all enjoyed watching. These were some of our favorite desserts. The boys love these cupcakes. So if you've got kids or grandkids, you definitely need to make these with them. But these, all these recipes are so good and so easy. And I had to put my stretch pants on just watching because I am so excited about Thanksgiving. I cannot wait for all the turkey, the side dishes, the desserts. Everything is so good. So I hope y'all have an amazing Thanksgiving with your family. And I'll see y'all in the next video.